just tap my screen at campaigns tab and you will see this is a just a demo campaign that I created. It has nothing at the moment, only one lead. So I'm just going to click on edit campaign. I'm going to click on add step. And this is the magic button to write hoid emails via AI. So when I click on it, it is asking me to add a open AI API key, which you need to write your AI emails. To do that, I'm just going to close this, go to settings here. And at the bottom of the setting, I will have here. This is where you need to add your API keys. So let me just add my API. Okay, so I have added my API key. I'm just going to refresh the page so that it understands that the API key has been added. And you see, now we have a prompt here. So I'm just going to copy a prompt and I'm just going to paste it here. You see, it is hardly what, 15 words, 20 words. And I'm going to click run it for it to generate the code email. It takes around five to 10 seconds. Okay, so we have a output here. You can of course enlarge it, see how it looks like and so on and so forth. I'm just going to click on accept and uh, you have an email. And if you don't like it, for example, if you don't like this email at all and so on and so forth, you can just click here and click on run again till you are satisfied with the output. See, we have another output. You can accept this as well. I forgot the subject. Let's copy the subject from here, paste it here. And of course, you can use spin text, you can use randomizers, and you can use dynamic variables and everything else that Mystica already supports, including A to Z testing. Everything is already present there. And to write the next step, you do exactly the same thing. So let's save the campaign. Okay, so I cannot save the campaign because I don't have a email ID selected and apparently I don't have an email ID on this account. So let's create an email ID quickly using Do You Mail. So I'm on Do You Mail. I'm just going to select one of the servers that we use and I'm going to just call it test user at looks decent password and display name maybe. Okay. I'm just going to click on create and it will create an email ID immediately for me. And in case you guys don't know, do you mail, it has a full automatic DNS setup. So yeah, it's very handy for creating a lot of email IDs. Okay, so I need to add that email ID here on uh, uh, Mystrica. So let me do that. Okay, so as you can see, I have an email ID added here from do you mail now. Okay, so just going to go to settings, select this and save it. And I have a campaign. That's it. So AI written email, 10 seconds and then you have a campaign ready. Of course, if I will uh, click here, it will start sending emails. But this is just one part of the feature update. Let's look at the other one. To do that, you need to see something called here prompt system. So what prompt system will do is it will take any input or prompt from you and based on any variable that you might have uh, that includes dynamic variables, CSV columns or any properties, attributes that you might have associated with a lead. Based on that, it can create personalized lines, something like that. For example, in this lead itself, if you will see, I have a couple of dynamic variables, like it has a company name, location, and a niece. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a task name, let's call it test task one, and I'm going to write a prompt, probably something like this. So I'm just going to click on test prompt, Let's see how it looks like the output. Apparently, this is what it came up with. Something like, uh, da, da, da. so apparently I have only one lead. The prompt tested with whatever lead you have and try to generate output. So this is how the output should look. And of course, this output needs to be stored in a variable. So let's call it. So basically what it will do is it will create a new dynamic variable called prompt output for all the prospects in that particular campaign. So if I click on submit task, the task has been submitted, which you can see under the task tab. And you see it is in progress. And once it is finished, uh, the status will be changed to completed. And uh, of course you can go back to campaign from here. Okay, so the task has finished apparently. So if you will see here, we have a, another variable here called prompt output and it holds the value from the prompt output. Now we can start using this variable to send the code email. For example, the variable was called prompt output, right? So we are just going to replace this. I'm not using uh, the first name variable because as you saw, 
the salutations were already present in uh, the variables we are not going to do that so now comes the interesting part right because we want to send a test email and see how it finally looks so i'm just going to save the campaign click here and ta -ta -ta, we were going to put contact at mystica.com just to test it click on send email and whenever you use all this please always use spin text this is just for the demo i'm doing it because without uh, spin text your emails will start landing in spam after sending let's say 400 500 emails so you see this is how it looks like it has the properly formatted uh, personalized line and post that the rest of the email so this complete output came from prompt iphone output variable so that's it folks we have full ai integration in mystica now that includes writing code emails as well as personalization for each prospect and we hold it inside a variable and you can keep on doing it over and over again there is no limitation for open ai uses because you are breaking your own case all right so until next time